So, your take is that religion is not under attack? What is this? Well, in a few places, that nun has something to complain about. But your war on Christianity, you're just a 10-foot-tall crybaby. I'm crying. It's not yeah. so bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, Christians aren't being killed. No, yet. not yet. Well, and not in America. And they're not going to be. They're you verbally the being killed. 80, so what? 80 well, wait a minute, Sossel. Come on now. You shouldn't be diminished because you believe a certain way. Aren't you outraged by that? No, I mean, you're what's not. diminished? I mean... All right, I'm not sure when that is from, because to say Christians aren't being killed, again, we came in in the middle of that. Uh, maybe they were talking about here in the United States. I don't know. But, oh boy, are Christians being killed. Uh, joining us now is Bill Donahue, president of the Catholic League, Newsmax contributor, and author of The Catholic Advantage. There it is on your screen. Hello, sir. How you doing, Steve? Always good to Thank see you. you. All right, let, let's start first before we get to that. Um, there, there's uh, an outcry, uh, an uproar, if mm -hmm. you will, uh, over the, uh, the uh, Archdiocese of San Francisco, and there's calls for the Pope to take action. You spoke to the, uh, the Archbishop of uh, San Francisco. Tell, uh, tell everybody what this is all about. Yeah, I, I spoke with Archbishop Cordelione and uh, one of his lawyers on Saturday, called me at home, and uh, we had a nice conversation. The Catholic League is always there in a support role. Uh, our role is ancillary. We're there to defend the clergy. So I don't have, Bill Donahue's ego is not running this thing. I mean, I get criticized for all kinds of things. Sometimes it's fair, no. sometimes it's unfair. But the thing is, if the Archbishop is saying, listen, we are in command of this situation, and the ad taken out against him last week is beginning to back. Well, explain what it's all about, yeah. Well, look, all he wants to do, really, is to make sure that the Catholic teachers in the four arch archdiocesan high schools are faithful to Catholic teachings. Hello? I mean, it's not a whole lot to ask for. But San Francisco being San Francisco, you've got a lot of malcontent Catholics, you've got dissidents, and you've got outsiders who are coming in with their money, and they're trying to crack them. Uh, listen, uh, Archbishop Corleone is a great man. He's a prince of the Catholic Church. He's a tough guy. If he needs the heavy hand of the Catholic League, we're there for him. We had a nice conversation about things. He's going to do things his way, and I think that's all, that's all to the good. But I'll tell you right now, um, these people out there who are trying to crash the Catholic Church on this thing, they don't understand what they're up against, not only with him, but a lot of lay Catholics who are willing to go to bat for him. Yeah, and, and uh, you don't see any, uh, you don't see the Pope. Uh, oh, this, this is laughable. All, they right? already went to the Apostolic yeah. Nuncio. They, they already went to the ambassador, and they got no response. Yeah, I wonder yeah. why they got no response, <laughs> you know? All right. They were blown right off by the Vatican. Let, let's talk about the, um, this, this continued every day. It's another video. It's another bunch of Christians that are being thrown off the boat, overboard on the boat, or being slaughtered by ISIS or whatever. I mean, Bill, you and I have been talking about this before ISIS. Yeah. Okay, the war on Christianity in one form or another, and what what Muslims were doing in in the Middle East and countries, the African countries. But now, we're seeing what we're seeing again. Why can't we organize? And I include myself. A, a, a million zillion people march in Washington. Something to show that we're not going to take it. Well, you know, and, and the fear is we get into what Hannah Arendt referred to as the banality of evil, where it becomes routine, a sense of ennui or boredom. Yeah. It's like, well, today it's rainy, tomorrow will be right. sunny. That lack of outrage is exactly what these people depend upon. And what they're doing is not just the mass murder, but you showed the clips of them coming in and destroying all their monuments yeah. and their artistic work. That's to destroy the past because they want to own the present so they can determine the, the future. future. We're up against the biggest evil since the Nazis and since Mao Zedong and since uh, Joseph Stalin and, and Hitler, this being his, his birthday of all, of all days. I mean, it's really, it's, it's, we're at a serious stage here. And... Christians need to come together. Um, I'm, I'm hoping the Pope will. He has spoken up a great deal about this, but well, when I mean, he gets here especially. Yeah, he needs I, exactly. To. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can talk about. This has to be number one. Absolutely, and and you know, we we have a president. I will say it every single day. Uh, he's not moved by the the slaughter of Christians or Jews. He's just not. No, whatever. When it comes to Muslims, though, he tippy toes around the situation. He's very sensitive to their concerns. That's fine. Why can't he extend the same courtesy to Jews and to uh, Christians? I mean, he needs to explain himself, but I'll leave it up to the presidential candidates to take him down on that. Yeah, and, and hopefully hopefully they will. Sorry, so you you, you spoke to uh, the archbishop. You think he's sticking to his guns on this? Oh, he's, he's not, not going to back, back down. down. Okay. This man is tough. And uh, if he needs the extra extra help from the yeah, Catholic yeah. community, he's going to get it. We had a very fine conversation. Uh, I'm very pleased with him. Uh, but he's up against it. They're, they're going to try and crack him. And these are the usual suspects. Yeah, these are the people who are unhappy because the Catholic Church didn't turn major left, okay? 
You can leave. This is not a dictatorship. If you're unhappy with the Catholic Church, get out. Join someplace else. Join your own organization. But don't stay like termites or claim to be Catholic and then eat away at the very foundation. I have nothing but disrespect and, and contempt for these so-called Catholics. And I have the complete uh, opposite of that for you, sir. <laughs> Thank right. you, Steve. Bill Donahue, ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only. And uh, don't forget to uh, check out his book, The Catholic Advantage. Uh, up next, we're going to talk to Debbie Lee. She's the founder of America's Mighty Warriors. She's written a letter, very important letter, wants an apology. You'll hear why. Don't go away.